I don't remember the last time we had some exciting stuff. Quite as exciting as what we have today. Let me go over to EA Sports Twitter. I'm just going to take a look. Now, I just got home from Paris. It's currently just gone 10 p.m. on Friday night. So this video won't be up until Saturday morning. Uh, I went to Paris for the week. And it was a pretty good time to go because from the Monday until the Friday, we uh, we had no content in FIFA. So it was a great time to take a holiday. You probably realise that the backdrop in my last video wasn't the same. That's why. Um, but sadly... Uh, our flights weren't until late tonight, so we didn't get back until late, so I missed the promos. So we have Prime Icon moments. We have a bunch of them. Very exciting. We have ones to watch. Not very exciting. And we have Premier League upgrades, which is also pretty dope. So I'm excited for all three of these. We have got five Jumbo Rare Players packs in the store to start opening. Let's open them straight up and see if we can get something good. Hopefully we can. We are not going to start off with a walkout, though. Now, we do also have the base Icon SBC in the store right now which we will be completing in this video and i'm very excited to complete it so straight after this we're going straight for the base icon spc let me uh, turn my camera down a little bit so you guys can actually see me straight after these packs we're going straight to the base icon spc we're completing the base icon spc and we're gonna have some fun we're gonna we're gonna enjoy it we're gonna have some fun i'm very very excited i'm very enthusiastic and hopefully hopefully this week just continues with absolutely incredible content all week because EA have started off very well now. We are starting off with a walkout or a second pack walkout. It's going to be an inform. Go on, be Pogba. You might as well. It's German. It's right wing. It's Bellarabi who's probably selling for a mint right now considering Goretzka actually has a player of the month card. Now, let me quickly go ahead and check that right now and see if Bellarabi is selling for a good amount of coins because I imagine so. Bellarabi's 85 inform is currently going for about 42,000 coins. I think that's very similar to most uh, informs that racing. We have got a graded Kepa as well. That's pretty dope. I'm going to keep Bellarabi because I think we might be able to use him to complete a base, a base icon upgrade a little bit easier. So instead of me going out and buying one, I'm just going to keep him. Obviously, the value stays exactly the same, but I'm just going to keep him instead because I think that he'll help us complete one. Um, we are not going to get back-to-back -back walkout, sadly. Uh, I'm excited, though. I'm buzzing. I, I was well, Honestly, we got on the plane at literally 5 to 6 in the in the UK. It was, point, it was literally perfect timing for everything to start getting announced. As the plane's taking off, uh, sorry, we got on the plane about half five. As the plane's taking off, it's five to six. Oh, we got upgraded to Rara. Hold the phone. He didn't go for anything, but that's pretty dope still. Um, but as the plane's setting off, it just turns six. So we got literally about 15 seconds to save all the images and have a look at them whilst we're on the plane. We managed to, luckily, and then the plane took off and we couldn't go on our phone anymore. So we've got another walkout. Come on, EA. It's going to be another inform, I believe. Who's this going to be? Italian this time, goalkeeper Sirigu. Again, probably just going to keep him because he might help me do a base icon upgrade. Um, but that's nice to have. That's great to have in the club. I'll happily take it. Anything else in the pack? Ooh, oh, oh, oh my. Okay, what a pack. What a pack. Oh my word. That's one of the better 100k packs I've had in a long time. We got upgraded Allison. Obviously, we got informed Sirigu, informed Nick 28. Nick, I can't even speak. Nick 28T. We got Otamendi. Ibrahim Pepe and an 84. That is an absolutely incredible pack. So I'm going to send you to the transfer list. I'm going to keep Otamendi for now because I think he'll be very useful because um, he's not one of the most expensive uh, walkouts. But we've got one more 100k pack. Come on, EA. Hook it up with another walkout. Sadly, not going to be another walkout. It's going to be a non-walkout. It's going to be a board though. Is it going to be something good? It's going to be Spanish. It's going to be centimid. It's going to be... Uh, it's all right. It's um, I forget his name. Illyramendi, maybe. I think that's how his name. I think that's his name. Uh, and it is Illyramendi. Okay, so we'll store those. We'll discard the rest. Don't think any of those guys are selling. Maybe if they are, I, I apologize for discarding them. Uh, and then we have either the choice of twenty of these PL Prime players packs or ten. I'm going to go with the ten fifty Ks because I think that although it'd be nice to get Premier League players, uh, I want more high rated cards and I don't want to keep getting duplicate high rated cards or anything like that because we want to complete base like an SBCs and stuff so I'm just going to go with Premier League packs for now. I'm going to start with a Neto. Now what's pretty cool is that, well not pretty cool but now there's two Brazilian goalkeeper walkouts so it's not always going to be Edison. Now it could be 87 Allison, who's going to be a little bit more based on the rating alone. Um, so that's that's alright. That's, that, that's, that's quite fun I guess. Um... But yeah, so now we know that. So anytime it's going to be a Brazilian goalie, it's not going to be Allison anymore unless it's a walkout. Uh, so that takes away the 85 that you could potentially get as a non-walkout. But I mean, it's all right. I'm not really too fussed by that. But it also means that we've got... So we've got Van Dijk's now a walkout. So there's no you're never going to get baited by De Vries again. 
Um, who else is there? Let me quickly let me quickly have a look. Let me quickly have a look through them right now and see which ones uh, excite me. So Van Dyke's now a walkout. Uh, is there anyone else that's now a walkout that wasn't before? I don't know. If, oh, we got we got upgraded Robertson. There you go. There's another upgrade. That's pretty dope. Don't know if he sells for anything. He might actually sell for a little bit. I'm going to sell this card on if he does. Let me quickly see. I know his inform got an incredible boost. It just looks incredible now. So where are you, my friend? Robertson. There's so many icons now. That's crazy. Okay, how much are you going for, buddy? If you're at like 9k, I'm selling you. He's 10,000 coins. I'll happily take 10k for this card. Thank you very much. <laughs> See you later, pal. Nice card. Not worth 10,000 10, 10, coins. Okay, I can't even speak today. I don't know why. I'm, I'm so out of it. Anyway, in terms of people that are now walkouts, I think Older Virold was not a walkout before. I think it was Vertonghen, so he's now a walkout. Obviously, Allison's Alis now a walkout and Van Dyke's now a walkout. Sterling's now a walkout. Um, and that is about it. It's pretty dope. Uh, we also have a few uh, great inform looking upgrades. So like Martial, Rashford both have really nice inform upgrades and special card upgrades. Terraria's footmas card looks incredible. If you guys haven't seen that, have a look at that. It looks absolutely insane. Uh, Van Dyke's play of the month has gone up to 92, which almost renders his team of the year useless. It's only two ratings off now, which I wonder if his team of the year is actually dropping in price. I mean, that wouldn't make a lot of sense if it dropped in price because you can't go out and buy his... Uh... Oh, sorry. His team of the year is now 95. Was it 95 before? I don't know if it was 95 before or not. Yeah, I think it was 95 before, actually, now that I think about it. Um, yes, it was, because he was one rating below Rafael Varane, so it was 95. My bad, I apologise for that. I got that wrong. Uh, but apart from that, I mean, they look like some solid upgrades, some really nice upgrades. Uh, I'm excited, obviously. Uh, hopefully, we can get some... Oh, that's my, my 18th netto of this, this pack opening so far. Uh, but we're going to rip open these packs, and then I'm going to do a base icon upgrade. In terms of the base icon upgrades, realistically, the ones that I would, I would personally love... Um, first of all, oh, wants to watch. Hold up, we got a wants to watch. Who's this? Italian center forward, Givinko. Okay, that's not bad. That is not bad at all, actually. I don't think he has a value, but that isn't bad. That is not bad at all. We'll take that. I will happily take a Giovinco right there. What's he going for? He's about 18,000 coins. That's not too shabby, to be fair. Don't think wants to watch is a use for anything right now in terms of like SBCs, but. I mean, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Another Neto. Great. Just what you wanted. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and do a base icon upgrade. In terms of the ones I'd really want, uh, given that my team is so good now, and I'm blessed to have an amazing team, uh, realistically, ones that are making it into my starting 11, uh, Eusebio, Cruyff. I mean, Cruyff wouldn't even make it into the starting 11. Eusebio would. Cruyff would not. Um, and apart from that, there's not really any other icons that would make it into my starting 11. I think it's pretty much just Eusebio. Yeah, I think it is literally just Eusebio. I can't think of another icon that would, truthfully. I mean, sounds horrible, but it's true. I'm still going to do a bunch of them because I just want to open them because they're fun to open. And I will obviously have a lot. I can have a bunch on the bench as well. That'd be great. Um, oh, who's this? Uh, oh, you or the Bundesliga center back. Hitern, Hitternger or something like that. I can't remember what his name is. Uh, Hitteringer, maybe? Uh, Hinterregga. There you go. Um, but yeah, no, they'd be nice to have on the bench, like a, like a baby Blanc would be great to have on the bench, like a baby Hullet would be fantastic to have on the bench or someone like that, so we'll see, we'll see when we get into it anyway, we probably won't get any of the people I've just mentioned, and we just opened 10 50k packs, and not a single one had a walkout, EA, sort it out, sort it out, that's just not acceptable, we'll go ahead and discard those two, now we, we are, I'm gonna open up the, uh, I'm gonna open 4,000 thief points worth of these Premier League Prime Players packs, because you never know. If it is a walkout, you know, there's a very select amount of players that it could be. But the reason I didn't want to do all of these initially is because, obviously, first of all, we get the non-rares. But there is actually only a select amount of walkouts from the Premier League. And I there's a few that are worth quite a lot. Obviously, it's an informed problem and whatnot. But, you know, I mean, nothing to get too excited over. The walkouts are probably going to be Edison, to be honest. But we do have a board. Is it going to be an upgrade? It's going to be an English cam. It's going to be Deli Ali, who I don't think has an upgrade. No, he does not, sadly. Um, I didn't realize Laporte warranted an upgrade, but I have his red inform in the club, so that actually got an 87 card, so that's now going to help me with a, an icon SBC. Uh, we just discarded Fraser, who got an upgrade, but I don't think he's selling for anything, to be honest. I really don't. Uh, we've got another non-walkout, though. We've got a board. Give me, like, an upgraded Son. Go on. Brazilian left mid. Oh, we got an upgraded Felipe Anderson. I wonder if this guy's selling. It's a nice card, to be fair. Really nice card. I don't think he's selling for anything, though. Or my guess would be that he's not selling. We've got Mendy there. 
Is this? Oh my word! Don't even tell me he's selling for that much. I swear to. I swear. If this card is going for like fifteen thousand coins, then you people have lost your brains. Twelve thousand coins for this card. Thank you very much. I will happily take. I'll, I'll happily take eleven k for that. You guys, I just. I didn't mean to discard that. I wasn't even thinking. I was just in autopilot mode for a second there. That is hilarious. Why so many coins for that card, man? I don't even know. But another non-walkout. Oh, we got another one to watch. It's a Premier League one as well. Who is this? English. Right back. I don't know who this is. Klein. Okay. All right. Nathaniel Klein. I see you. I see you, buddy. All right. Nathaniel Klein. Nathaniel Klein. What are you going for, my friend? Are you going for anything at all? Oh. 16,000 coins. All right, we'll take it. So another one's to watch. I'll happily take it. That's two in this video so far. I'm happy with that. Uh, not that I'm really... I mean, I'm happy with it, but I'm not really too bothered by it. Okay, so we've got one more of these. Be a walkout, baby. No walkout again. Disappointing. It's going to be another board drop, though. Go on. Be be Son. It's going to be Papadop... Uh, Papadop. What am I talking about? It's going to be Socrates, even. Uh, still chance to get maybe a Marshall in there, another Robertson or something, or a Philippe Anderson, maybe. Or a Bernard. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do some SBCs and uh, and I'll see you guys in just a second. That took way, way, way longer than I was expecting, but we have finally done a full base icon upgrade. This is the 84 squad. Uh, this is one of the informs I, I got from the packs and uh, Pizzy's untradeable, of course. Most of the plays here are actually untradeables, apart from Buffon. I did, I did have to go and buy Buffon. For that, we get a two-player pack. Uh, the 85 rated squad, uh, more of the same. Most players are untradeable. Um, there's a Bellarabi we actually got from uh, the SBC pack. So we'll go ahead and submit this again. Most players here are untradeable, so I do not mind submitting them. Um, and then we have the 86 squad. Uh, again, a lot of untradeables here. I don't even remember who was my striker. It was Muller. So I have to go to the transfer list to get Muller off the transfer list and put him uh, into the squad. But again, most players there were untradeable. I had a couple red cards in there, which helped me out as well. Uh, so we'll go ahead and store Muller. All in all, I think it cost me around... 200,000 coins. So we saved nearly 200,000 coins from untradables, which is actually fantastic. I'm happy about that. They're about 370k a pop. So we saved a good chunk of co uh, coinage from uh, from untradables, which I'm happy about. So uh, we'll go ahead and shove Muller into the SBC. And there you go. The 86 weight squad has been finished. Um, so we'll go ahead and... Uh, and by the way, I understand the opportunity cost in all. It didn't actually cost me 200k and all that. You don't have to tell me in the comments down below. That's the most boring thing anyone's ever said in their lives is about opportunity cost. I get it. All right. We get it as a community. You don't have to keep reminding us. Anyway, we have got three G player packs followed by the base icon upgrade. If we get something good from, from the base icon upgrade, um, I might do another. I might not. It's 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 tempting. Uh, I'll think about it. It depends how, who we get. But uh, we'll see who we get and then... Um, we may do another one based on if we get a good player or not. Now, uh, the two player packs probably won't get anything from these. If we do, I'll be very, very surprised. Um, not expecting anything from these. We do have a bunch of other packs as well in the store that we can open. Sorry, in the uh, SPC section we can open. So uh, let's open up the base icon and see. That will determine whether or not we do uh, some of the other SPCs or whether or not we do uh, another base icon upgrade. So... Let's have a look then, shall we? Uh, let's quickly store these players in the club. Don't be there. All right. Here we go. First base icon of FIFA 19. I'm, 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 I'm excited. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not going to lie. So walk out. Come on, obviously. Um, what's it going to be? Come on, EA. Come on. English. Striker. Okay. Michael Owen. Um, uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. I don't know how much he goes for. Um, it's not Inzaghi. Won't use this guy, not even as a super sub. What's his value? He's got a 420,000 coin value. I mean, he's not bad, but he's not great. I think he'll probably just go straight into an icon SBC, to be honest. But it's all right, I guess. I don't think I'm going to do another one tonight because of that. I think I'll do another one for tomorrow's video. Um... But, I mean, it's all right, to be fair. So, I've built a bunch of 81 to 86 upgrades. Uh, not entirely sure if these are going to be good or not. We will have to see. Uh, 86 rated max puts me off a lot. Because you're probably rarely, rarely, rarely going to get any walkouts. Um, but, I mean, we've got a board. It's Brazilian. It's a striker. 
It's A3 rated. It's all right, to be fair. It's not an A1 or an A2. I don't think I'll be doing much of these, to be honest. I think I'll probably stay clear of these SBC packs. Um, and I've just got a dupe, untradeable. Great, that's fantastic. Uh, I'll probably stay uh, very clear of these SBC packs. But uh, I like the look of the Premier League ones. Uh, they're probably not that worth it to be honest the Premier League ones, but it's still probably pretty, pretty fun to do So I might quickly just go ahead and build a couple right now for you guys and I'll see you guys when I have I was very disappointed when I started doing these packs and realized that you need 70 chemistry So I've done three. I'm not doing any more. I refuse to do more than that We're gonna end this video off with three of these packs. So I have done. I am an idiot. I am actually an idiot Oh my god <laughs> When you favourite an SBC, uh, the SBC then goes to the front and you're left with the uh, the SBC that was in its place beforehand. So with me not realising, paying half attention, I did one PL2 player pack and I did two PL3 player packs with one rare. Because the SBC the SBC system is pretty stupid. I mean, I know it's part, it is my fault as well, but... Oh, EA, you hurt my brain sometimes. Anyway, what are the odds we get something good maybe in one of the three player packs and then nothing in the 81 plus? Probably nothing, but we're going to open up all of them anyway and see if we can get anything good. We're going to start off with a Zuma. I'm really not happy, EA. I'm pretty disappointed with that, but you know what it is, what it is. It is what it is. I just didn't notice. The reason I didn't notice is because I wasn't really looking at the screen. I was looking at my other monitor, and I think it's pretty stupid that when you favor an SBC, it just disappears. And we have got a once to watch in a Premier League players pack. It's going to be Belgian centre mid. It's going to be, oh, it's going to be Tielemans. Funny story, actually, about Tielemans, by the way. Uh, you're probably not interested. Uh, I, the day after he signed for Leicester, I was in a restaurant, and he was in the same restaurant as me, like four tables behind me. I live in Leicester. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, anyway, we've got once to watch. That's pretty dope. We're going to end off on this one, though. Come on, be something good. No walkout. Can it be something decent, though? Not even a board. Anyway, we got a ones to watch, and I'm happy with that. If you guys did enjoy the video, we've opened up a base icon player. We've opened up a bunch of packs. We've opened up some SBCs and stuff like that. Hopefully, it's been fun for you guys. If it has, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.